back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we're back with a brand new WWE Elite figure review on the brand new Ringside exclusive WWE Elite SummerSlam Undertaker figure from Ringside Collectibles. This is a Ringside exclusive, as you guys can see by the sticker on the front. So if you guys want to grab this figure, you do have to go over to WrestlingFigures.com. Ringside Collectibles, use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. Not the greatest Ringside exclusive ever, but I am going to give you reasons on why you should pick this up in this video. And we're going to go through the whole thing. We're going to break it all down. Down. One thing that I've noticed about new ringside exclusives is they've gotten rid of the window, right? They used to have like the open door deal. They've gotten rid of that. We don't see that here on this figure. We didn't see it on the new Wolfpack Hogan that we're getting or the new NWO Hogan that we're getting. And you guys can see here, you got the Undertaker, you got the WCW Tag Team Championship up there. Got SummerSlam with a cage background up here. Ringside exclusive Undertaker right there. I really like that font and the greenness right there. Modern WWE logo. I will say when they release flashback figures with that logo, kind of throws me off a little bit but at the same time it is modern figure but at the same time it's a throwback figure so it's kind of weird got the steel cage there got a beautiful image of undertaker there that is not from that time period bro pretty sure this is like a 2004 render when he returned at wrestlemania 20 after that short hiatus i could be wrong about that man but that's like a 2004 render bro swear to god got the steel cage there wwe elite logo on the back you get a beautiful image of taker and kane got the brothers of destruction includes first time 2001 wcw tag team champion Chip. You could use that for a lot. You got Keep rolling, rolling, rolling. I used to be obsessed with that theme. Still love it. Still love Limp Biscuit. That theme goes hard AF. That whole album goes hard AF, bro. That's album of the week right there. Go download that album. They just, God, what bangers they had. Little read up. If you want to read it, you can pause it now. For all the damn rambling I'm doing, you probably could have already read it by now. On the side, you do get another image of Taker here. No Dead Man Inc. on the damn beanie, bro. Why couldn't we get that? WCW tag title right there. A little fire image there. Nothing on the bottom except for the garbage barcode. And then that pretty much wraps up our packaging for this ringside exclusive Undertaker. And that is going to crack him out of the package, man. Let's go ahead and let's get, the get the review rolling. Rolling, 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 rolling. And here's the American badass himself out of the packaging going round and round. And unfortunately, this figure is not as bad badass is the undertaker himself we're gonna get into all those things but again man i think there are some really good qualities about this figure and i'm gonna break down every single one of those qualities for you guys so you guys get it and grasp it and firmly grasp it at that so i want you to take that into consideration when looking at this review i need you to watch this review with every single ounce of your being and i need you to watch it from the very beginning to the very end first of all because it helps my ad revenue second of all because i'm gonna give you some damn mdt knowledge my damn knowledge today mdk nick gage Know what I'm saying? All right. Anyways, man, what we're going to do is take a closer look at Undertaker's accessories, and then we're going to take a closer look at what Undertaker looks like himself. And I'm pretty sure they left off some tattoos on this guy. That's besides the point. Let's look at the accessories, shall we? Now, before we dive into the figure, man, it does come with its trifold background, and this is SummerSlam 2001. I used to love this. I used to, I just miss, you know, epic stage designs. I also miss this logo. I always thought this was the most badass logo. Another great logo was the Backlash logo. Another great logo was the No Mercy logo, and I think all of those were one were much better than they are today. I don't know why WWE thinks that they should just change stuff, but the product had a lot more edge. It was a lot cooler back then. The wrestling and roster is probably the best. It's uh, not not now. The roster used to be as good as it was. In 01, it was hellacious. 02, 03, it was also hellacious. More of like, I guess the in-ring product is a little bit better, but the stories and the sets and the creativeness, I felt like was much better back in the day, and uh, you can fight me down in the comment section below, but you, you will lose, because this SummerSlam logo crushes today's SummerSlam logo. Logo. And thank you for coming to my TED Talk. But you do get the background, which would go cool for little displays or something like that. So far as accessories, man, getting into them, I'm not going to include the rubber shirt. We'll get into that when we cover the figure itself. But starting out first with this WCW Tag Team Championship. Never seen this before. And it looks damn good, man. I like the way it looks. You know, I don't know the exact accuracy of the belt. You know, I think it looks good. It may be inaccurate in some ways. I didn't take a look at it before this video. That's terrible on my part. But I do like the way it looks. I, I know that you could put this on an assortment. Of, of people, so I don't know when we're ever going to see this belt again, so you may want to go ahead and grab it, man. Go ahead and order a couple of those takers. Again, man, plenty of fix-ups can be made. We're going to get into that a little bit later, but this is a beautiful tag team championship. I know a lot of people have been waiting on this one, so I know that it is nice, and we do get the cool WCW logos in there. It looks clean. I like it. Outside of that, you get this toboggan slash beanie. Now, he, he had one that said Dead Man Inc. on it, and he wore it on television a lot. I don't know why the figure didn't come with that, but here's the head sculpt. Jeez. 
Jesus. But you can put this on here. It just looks weird to me, man. I don't know. It's probably just the god-awful head sculpt. This is the Kane as Undertaker head sculpt or Undertaker as Kane head sculpt. I hate this head. I, I like when they put this on that exclusive, I hated it. I think that you're much better off getting a different Undertaker head and then, you know, painting up the eyes or, or putting on makeup on that figure to make that look better. But that's a whole nother challenge for a whole nother day. This toboggan is just, uh, it's just massive. You know, it's because it's a massive head sculpt. This head sculpt's long. It looks very odd. It doesn't fit very well for this era, in my opinion. It just looks very weird. He has the longest head of all time. He has a seven head up there, and I'm just not a fan of this head sculpt. However, uh, the toboggan's nice. You could probably put it on some other guys. Maybe like a Brock Lesnar or, or another character like that. But there it is on the figure. It, I, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just not a fan of it there. But you do get this. I wish it had Dead Man Ink on it, but I guess they wanted some universal pull for it. So you can put it on other guys. So, you know, it makes sense. Outside of that, you do get sunglasses. Now, one thing you'll want to know is, okay, it fits. Okay, maybe it doesn't. I could have swore it fit the head sculpt, but it doesn't fit like I like is what I wanted to talk about. So it doesn't fit the head particularly well. Like it doesn't hook onto the ears or anything. This head sculpt certainly looks better with the sunglasses on there, but you cannot put the toboggan on with the glasses. You see that? They shoot off. So that is something that is kind of piss poor there. That is something that I noticed immediately when analyzing the, uh, all the stuff you get. But uh, there's that. You get, you know, you get the sunglasses, the toboggan, and then I'm not going to look at the head sculpt when we look at the figure. We've looked at it enough. I mean, we've been tortured enough. Let's move on to the hands, and we do get mic holding hands, which pisses me off with the Undertaker. Why do we get mic holding hands and then choke slamming hands? If we're going to get both of those, why not give us fisted hands, man. We need fists for our Undertakers. Just like we have fists for Brock, we have fists for Roman, we have fists with other guys. We need fists for the Undertaker, man. In 2001, him and Kane used to put the fist up when they'd walk away from the ring. We need the fisted hands for our Undertakers, man. So that's that's pretty much wraps up these accessories. I'm done with the accessories. Let's move on to the figure itself. Lighting looking hella good right here. Why can't all my videos look this crispy? Like, j just look at this Undertaker head sculpt. Am I tripping, bro? Just look at it. It looks so damn creepy, honestly. I feel like it's looking into my damn soul, man. I don't like it. Let's move on. I'm actually, you know what? For the rest of the review, you don't get ahead. All right, so diving into the rest of the head sculpt, man, you do have this new technology that we're dealing with here, and it looks a bit fuzzy. It has a very weird texture. It's kind of weirded me out a little bit, but, you know, it's pretty stretchy and pliable, which is pretty cool. You know, you just pull down the straps Kurt Angle style, and I'm sure, you know what, bro? We're going to get this on so many figures now. How much you want to bet? Uh, I mean, it's not like a bad, like, concept, but I feel like it's so, like, in the way, kind of, but it feels, it's very shiny on the underside. It rolls up every daggum time but damn, I love this figure shirtless. Okay, didn't think I'd be saying that. This figure looks sick as hell, though. I've been waiting on an Undertaker shirtless like this for a while. God, just the, the just good jokes. But seriously, though, the BSK Pride, man, I've been waiting on a figure like this for a long time. I love how the tattoos continue up on the torso there. I guess he didn't have it on this side, apparently, but this looks super sick. I Like, this is the reason why I think you should buy this figure, man, because you get the shirtless Taker and you get the Dead Man Ink. So if you wanted to have an Undertaker with a claw shirt, just get the big evil shirt. Get the big demon shirt and put a short-haired head sculpt with a headband and then put a chain around it and have the shirtless thing going. It, it would just fit way better, man. I think it would look amazing. And then you could also have the version that's shirtless that shows off the, the tattoo there. Or take this torso, put it on a different taker with your double-jointed arms and have the tight singlet and then have this little doohickey on there. Or, I or get, again, get a cloth one or something. But I guess this doesn't look bad. I just feel like this should be pulled up a little bit. But then if it gets too high, it would will it like, ride up. I guess that's not terrible. It's just very shiny, bro. Like, very, very shiny, but I love the double jointed arms. I love how they beefed up his arms a little bit. You get the removable gauntlets with the gloves on there. You do have your long Undertaker pants. You get the Dead Man ink on there, like I said. This figure, I like this figure a lot. I just do not like the head, and I'm not a bit, I don't know how I feel about the gimmick here on the shirt. It's a, it's cool technology and like a cool step, you know, and like kind of chilling over here. I think it could work on display like something like this, but at the same time, man, I just love the shirtless tat. Like having the BSK tat on there, I'm leaving this guy shirtless. I'm going to get another one, and then I'm going to customize it with different shirts. I think that's the way to go because you get the Dead Man Ink, like I said. I hope to God this ends up like the Shield Kurt Angle where there's like a hundred of them at the warehouse that aren't moving. And like Black Friday 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7.0 comes, and I can load up on like 12 of them for different fix-ups, customs, 
options, things like that. I think that is what I'm going to go for for this Taker, really beef up the Taker fix-ups and the biker gimmick, but I, I don't know, man. Having the figure like this without a head is a lot better. So all these dark colors on the screen are really messing up my exposure, but you guys can see the new ringside exclusive in the middle. When it's headless, man, like, look how damn good it can look up next to these. You know that battle pack with Jeff Hardy, that, like, more recently, like, sh championship showdown pack with the terrible-looking Jeff Hardy basic and then that Undertaker dead man ink? You need to get that head and put it on here, but here is, like, the rest of the biker takers. You have the Elite 85, you have the Elite 55, the Elite 18, and the Elite 68, I think. All biker gimmick takers, and then we have this one right here, American Badass takers, if you will. I know it's Big Evil, but you know, it's kind of that short-haired American Badass style, and I think they look pretty damn good. My Elite 18 over here is a piece of shish, though. I do need to get a new Elite 18, but at the same time, I think taking the Elite 18 and fixing him up is really cool as well, and uh, I just think that is, uh, that's pretty cool, man. You can fix up that figure. You can, you know, kind of make your own updated version of it, and I think that's the beauty of this exclusive and why you may want to pick it up, man. I'm telling you, that's the reason to pick it up. The WCW Tag Team Championship and then you have all the different fix-up ideas and it's a shirtless taker that we've been waiting on for a long time. I think that's the way to go with it. Not for the head sculpt, not for the beanie. The other things that you get are worthwhile and it is a pretty sick-looking figure like Mock. It's, it's, it's pretty solid. I like the packaging on it, so there's that. But uh, yeah, man, this is pretty cool. Oh yeah, and I almost forgot the other comparison. And here's the new ringside exclusive Undertaker up next to his brother of destruction partner, Kane, and I guess I can throw the head on here so you guys can see what it looks like with the head sculpt on it, but I genuinely think with every ounce of my being that this guy needs to have a head swap, man, because I'm just not feeling that long head. Look at that, bro. Also, why didn't he come with the world tag title? I feel like he could have really had something special if he was holding up the world tag title and the WCW tag title. That would have been a really cool thing to do in package, but there is our Undertaker as Jesus Christ thought he was coming down for sure, but there's Kane and Undertaker up next to each other. Oh yeah, and for people that want to see this on the Wreck and Slam cycle. I actually found like three of these at my local dirt cheap. You may want to check your dirt cheap for this. Found one for like seven bucks. Drew McIntyre one. I said F that. That one sucks. But this one looks pretty cool and I like the way Taker looks on it. Uh, not accurate, but pretty cool, you know, for displays and such. I think you could make this work and this Undertaker could fit on there pretty nice, you know. It's it's not completely on there but you guys get the deal there. You get the idea. But anyways, man, that's pretty much going to wrap up this review on the brand new ringside exclusive Undertaker Keep Rolling Rolling exclusive. I don't really know what to call this. Summer Slam exclusive, BSK exclusive. I like the Keep Rolling exclusive, I think, is what I'm gonna go with. But that pretty much wraps up the review, man. I had a ton of fun reviewing the figure. Again, man, if you just break it down with me, if you've never obtained the Elite 18 Undertaker, it goes for a hefty price. And this one's updated, so you get the bigger, larger, double-jointed arms. You get the removable shirt, so you get the BSK tattoo underneath, and you get the Dead Man Ink legs, and you get a sick little toboggan, even though it probably won't fit nothing, and you get sunglasses that don't look good on the figure, but you could possibly put it on other figures, and you get the WCW Tag Team Championship, so there's lots of reasons why you should pick up this figure, and I think they were pretty genius in level thinking, man. They were playing chess while we were all out there playing Uno cards. They had this one well thought out. I think they did a pretty good job on that because you get the cool technology of pulling the fold down. Not the biggest fan of that, you know. I just think that I'd rather them give us like a cloth one or go back to the drawing board on that. But I still think the figure overall is good because I've always wanted a shirtless taker. I've always wanted, you know, a re-release of the Elite 18 because it's hard to come by. And I think that's what they've done here as well as giving us some accessories that we've wanted in our collection. So I think that we get some pretty cool stuff here and I think you should grab it, man. You Use code MDTOYS while shopping for this figure over at WrestlingFigures.com. Ringside Collectibles, use the code, man. You want to do that. Use Priority Shipping. Go grab this guy and do some surgery on it. We're going to do some surgery on it. We're going to make it a lot better, and it's going to be super badass, just like The Undertaker wants him to be. So with all that things being said, man, that is going to wrap up the review. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. This is our second Elite Taker in just about, what, a couple days, man? We had that Legends figure, and then we had the Ultimate Edition not too long ago, and then we had... Uh, uh, the Elite 85 re-release and the top picks. Undertaker's figures just keep on coming and keep on coming. Or should I say they keep... Rolling, 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 rolling.